Hi there YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name is Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today I'm talking about the Adidas i4D. And this is the second time that I'm making this video because the focus wasn't working properly on the first video. So as I have just explained, this is not the first time that I'm unboxing these pair of shoes. Uh, therefore, this is going to be uh, not a fake unboxing, but a pretend unboxing. I still want you guys to see what's in the box and to share the experience that I had the first time around. So this is not the first time that I've noticed that the size of this box or the delivery box is far larger and completely unnecessary. I would say Adidas, please, redo your delivery boxes these are way too big so inside you have the actual shoe box which is in black and you have a couple of bills which i don't want to see ever again in my life on the front of the box you actually have an adidas 4d which you can see in certain lights which is in a kind of acrylic style material so inside you have the shoes these are the um the i4d glow green colorway which you can see immediately Ta -da. so the shoes feature the standard 4d midsole which goes all the way around the sides and the back which is the 4d material which is i believe 3d printed and then on the upper you have suede and a kind of mesh material which in terms of colors is a mixture of light green, white, and gray. The actual design on the top of the upper is a graphic inspired by the digital world according to the website of Adidas. The laces are also in the glow green color as is the tongue. So it's all kind of blended into one at the top. So I purchased these through the Adidas app and they came out as a special release, uh, online only I believe. So these weren't on general release, which means these are a bit limited. So in comparison to the ZX4000 and the Alpha Bounce, this is actually my preferred version. It's comfier, it looks better, it's got a uh, more sort of edgier look about it and it's certainly a sneaker for me which is going to be much more iconic and probably more valuable in the future than the other versions. So props to Adidas, I think you've done a really good job here so uh, keep doing your thing. So the cost of these came out at £279 so again this is not a cheap sneaker. Uh, that's pretty much the same for any 4D design that comes from Adidas, they're not actually that cheap which is where I actually think Adidas is going wrong with the 4D. But the reality is, is that this hasn't done as well as Adidas has anticipated. And I think a lot of people had thought this was going to be the next big thing. In reality, it hasn't materialized. I think because of the price, but also I think because of the comfort too. When you have an ultra boost or a boost material on your feet, you bounce up and down when you walk. It's super comfortable, it's great. I love wearing it. Um, when you wear a 4D, the experience is different. It's harder, it's heavier, um, it's a bit more rigid on the foot, but it's still comfortable. So I am going to stop talking about these sneakers and I'm going to start putting on my feet, um, trying out a few different styles and looks. I would love to hear what you guys think about them, so please drop me a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback. Having worn these properly on feet, these are my favorite 4D sneakers for sure. Like they are the most comfortable, they look the best. Uh, it's the best fit from a 4D I've ever had. Uh, I don't know what they've done to these sneakers, but they've actually made these a lot better than any of the other versions that I've actually had. What I can say is that this is a, a great sneaker. I've really enjoyed wearing it. Uh, this is gonna be a keeper in my collection, a permanent collection, and I might have to get rid of some of my other 4D sneakers to make room for this because really it is that good. Um, I think Adidas has done a really good job here. 
So thanks very much for watching my video, guys. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. Um, if you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel uh, or you can follow me on Instagram up here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Take care, guys. Bye.